Joining us on the phone, our mate Hogs. He's had a little rest from inventions as we sort out his family life a little bit. His kids are now old enough to ask him questions that he doesn't quite understand yep. and doesn't know where to respond. Um, we got one of these last week, which was where does all the rubbish go? Hogs, welcome back. G'day, boys. Hello, Hogs. Um, yeah. uh, do you think at the moment is the reason the... Well, I mean, I'm assuming here that the invention well is running a little dry. Is it just because your brain yeah. space is being used up by the kids? Possibly. I mean, um, I don't want to tell you the truth, but uh, it's been dry for a while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. Well, you're covered <laughs> well. <laughs> yeah. 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 And so- Does it bother you that you're not having as many brainwaves as you used to? I think you just don't have enough time just to sit back and just look out and just think, <laughs> you know? Okay, so I mean, that, you do have three kids and a fourth on the way. Yes. So yeah. do you reckon that, so you, when your prime for ideas probably was 2008, 2009, wouldn't you say, yeah. when you had a lot of time? Oh, didn't do anything. <laughs> what, at what stage, just before we get to today's question, at what stage would you say you had the most inventions that you were sitting on? What was the highest number of inventions that you hadn't released to the world? Um, probably when I started inventions, I had, uh, I had, I mean, the Excel sheet, you just scrolled and scrolled. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's yep. right, because you had ideas.xls. Uh, yeah. um, and now we've been through all of them, and Hogs, look, a lot of them ended up actually becoming inventions. Things like the gym train. Yep. And dare I say it, you had, I mean, an invention years ago called, it was called Got a Job, Want a Job, yep. Need a Job, Get a Job, yep. dot com. It was a fairly long name, but yeah. Hogs, that's been well and truly taken up now by the company Airtasker. Yeah, I mean it's. Uh, I mean, I suppose it's your fault. Oh, well, I pitched it. <laughs> yes, but Weatherbet I'm, was another one. You're very, you're very one of your very first ones ever. Weatherbet, and um, now people are betting on the weather, yeah. and then um, people are making a lot of money out of it. Maybe we should go back to the inventions. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, okay. oh, let's okay. first, let's not what? get two rosy <laughs> coloured glasses here on this because we are just remembering the good ones. There were quite a lot of them that were air balls. <laughs> hey, Hawks, last week you said gravity. Your kids have asked you about gravity. Is, yeah. the, is that what you wanted to pick up today? I just don't know if... I don't know. Someone obviously discovered gravity yep. a long time ago. I don't, I don't know the backstory. Mm-hmm. I just think... Everyone just went, yep, yeah, no, nah, you're spot on, mate. Everything falls down, <laughs> and we haven't really looked into it properly. Okay. Oh, okay, okay <laughs> what okay. makes you say that? Well, you just like you can go into a garden, mm. right? It's just you, you can catch gravity off sometimes, I reckon. You can look at a tree. When? Look at a tree and go, that leaf isn't even looking like dropping. Like, it's not even, it's not even, the gravity isn't even, even trying to pull that. That boy down. Oh, right. So he's heading upwards rather than downwards. Yeah. yeah. and like, Or you can look into a rubbish bin, and I reckon <laughs> that thing probably should have gone full yeah, throw right. the crack. <laughs> I mean, it's, so, it's so like, almost like gravity, gravity, gravity can't catch everything. Well, no. Right. Yeah, so okay. it's almost like gravity. So you sort of think, you see gravity in your mind, you picture it as it's like gravity scanning the earth, looking for things that look off balance and, and pushing them over. Yeah. 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 And it's, uh, well, it's lazy as well. You. <laughs> We've we've talked about this, Ando. Yep. When we hit a golf ball, mm-hmm. right, in the first 100 metres, gravity's not even looking like pulling that boy down. Like, it's just, yep. it's actually increasing in height. Yep, yeah. And it's just, like, it only catches the slow things going around. It's just like, you know, aeroplanes. Yep. No I one actually, them. no one actually thinks that the wings are holding the whole thing up. It's just, no, 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 no. one, <laughs> no. Just, just before we, just, just before anyone that's done, you know. Well, Hamish, you year subscribe to New Science Magazine. Mm. I mean, I've had this conversation with Hogs once. I don't in the know past. if he, I don't know if, if if telling you what Newton's theory of gravitation is mm. would a hundred percent satisfy you here, Hogs. But you know that you can't you can't escape gravity. Like it is, it's actually known as the the constant. Well, hot air can. Yep, because well, gravity. If you really want the scientific <laughs> explanation, gravity is a force, hog. So other forces can act against it, like a rocket ship can can push against gravity, but it needs to be pretty yeah. strong. Okay, hot air balloon. Yes, hot air is right. a force. Yep, it's lighter than so air. So what? So you're telling me the hot air is just rising that baby up? Yes. <laughs> 
So if I go if I go home tonight, yes, I put the put the heater on full ball. Yep. Eventually, I'll just the house will start flying. No, well, house is a lot heavier than a wicker basket. <laughs> so you need, you know, it if won't your work house is particularly light, <laughs> Mate, those baskets are heavy. <laughs> And also, what is yep. it? The ga- the hot air balloon? Is it the gas or it's just just hot? It's the hot air. Yeah. It's the hot air. It's lighter than air. So it's got but gas gas rises as well. I hear. <laughs> 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 who's been whispering these <laughs> laws of density to you. Um, yes, it does helium. You yeah. could, but it would be... That's what a blimp is. Blimp's full of helium. helium. Sa- same concept. A big... So hot a, air balloons, it's, it's got a bit of help from the gas and the heat. Uh, yep. Yeah. Oh, pretty, pretty much just the fact that when you heat air, it becomes less dense than normal air. So that's the definition of lighter than air. And that creates enough force to p- pull it upwards. But it's all... Like the gases or the gas are in the bottles up in the air. Don't worry yes, about that it, gas. It, it, that's it, just to heat up the air. You think you then the yeah. helium is in the blimp. That's the light, the blimp. That's the light gas. You can't keep going through this <laughs> because but Hawks, I mean, but Hogs, it is a tough one. It's a toughie. And, and, I mean, like I mean, you said, Hogs, people did discover it, and it took him a while to get onto it. But I mean, there's still people looking into it. I promise <laughs> you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's a All right, well, def- I'll, I'll explain that to the boys tonight. <laughs> <laughs> just, just telling people are looking into it still. <laughs> Thanks, Hogs. I'll see you tonight, Sorry, mate. Sorry, you picked a bloody big one. It's one of the basic forces of the universe. So it's a toughie. Can you, just, can you come to us with something a bit easier to be confused about next week, like uh, shoelaces? Hey, take, or- take some time to yourself right. for an invention during the week. That'd be nice. Hogs, yeah. What, what, you about, got- what about rain radars? Okay. <laughs> okay, we can't go to another one. Hawks, <laughs> <laughs> speak to you later. We'll just put a lid on it to next week. Thanks, Hawks.